So now let's look at number six. Number six, we have a function r here, and we want to find the instantaneous rate of change at three. Now the way we'll do that is we'll find the average rate of change first, and then put in new average rates of change until we find, or closer average rates of change, until we find out what happens at three, or we guess at three. So you will need your graphing calculators for this one. Instantaneous rate of change will involve finding the average rate of change. This will be A plus H minus R of A all over H. And this is this will be one. Um, average rate of change, but the limit as h goes to zero, we'll start looking at different average rates of change as we put in smaller and smaller h's. So here we go. The limit as h goes to zero of the function r, and we're at three, so three plus h minus R of 3 all over H. So the function R with 3 plus H as an input, we put 3 plus H into the T here, we get 60 sloping. And the 3 plus H minus 2 times 3 plus H all squared then minus. And what is the function r with 3 as an input? If I put 3 here, 3 times 60 what, what is 180. And 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18. So we take away 18 and we get um, 162. It's 1, 6, 2 all over h. Next, we need to put this into the calculator, and we're going to put this in as y1 equals, we're going to need a parenthesis for the entire numerator, so open parenthesis, 60, open parenthesis, 3 plus, the calculator doesn't have the h, so we're going to use x instead, x minus 2 times 3 plus x all squared minus 162 close numerator and then divide it by not h but we'll use x instead. Okay. As you put this into the calculator we do a trace and we input let's say 0.1 um, when if h is 0.1, or should I say is x is 0.1, we're going to get a average rate of change of 47.8. If I type in 0.01, my average rate of change equals 47.8. 98. If I keep putting larger values of uh, smaller values, should I say, of um, h in here, eventually my average rate of change gets closer and closer to 48. So we will conclude that the instantaneous rate of change will be 48. Algebraically, we're saying that the derivative of r at 3, or the instantaneous rate of change at r, or at 3 of r, will be 48. Again, this is finding the instantaneous rate of 